Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Revfolio. We are jumping in once again and we are going to run it back as Sarah. We do of course have Icarus and Mammoth that we're going to be playing a little bit more as well. But run it back as Sarah and you'll be able to see on the thumbnail we actually have the official Turtle Melon art for this now. Obviously created by Never Named. Thank you very much to him. But we're going to jump in. As for the question of the day today, uh, I'm not actually sure what I'm going to go for here. Okay, we, um, we got some updates here which is rather nice. A few mods have been updated to fix different compatibility issues. I've also clean slated my game, kind of. I'm using very, very few mods now uh, while we play through um, Revelations, just because I want to experience it in the best way possibly can, with as least lag as we can. So I've removed pretty much every custom character and like a few other things. The only main ones I've kept on is Retribution, Fiend Folio, and of course the mod itself, um, Revelations. So yeah. Anyways, we'll see how it goes, but yeah, we are playing again here as Sarah. So we know a little bit more about how this character works now. We want to collect, um, we want to be collecting black hearts to trade for devil deals. Pretty interesting concept, definitely, uh, definitely a little tricky. But yeah, um, I apologize for anyone that is watching that created any of the mods that I was previously using. They will return, do not worry. Some of them are some of my favorite mods out there. But I thought best to, to stay with the new stuff. Fiend Folio is just a mod that I feel like I can't live without anymore. I've gotten so used to having it. I, I really just love it too much to, to get rid of. Um, so that's one that's one that I'm keeping on. Uh, ooh, we got this. This is such a good item. We got this really, really late on the, uh, the the last episode, but it seems really, really good. So this is the Cardboard Robot. When used to give the player the Cardboard Robot, she playifies a large amount of um, short range lasers. The suit absorbs damage, which decreases the amount of time the suit can be worn. Clearing rooms increases the amount of time the suit can be worn. So basically, as I understand it, this is kind of like a weak version of Mega Mush. So we'll use it here. We become this Cardboard craziness here. As you can see, we can take damage, um, but we have the ability to kill things a little easier, as you can clearly see. Um, and yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure how long... Oh, okay, unfortunately, that was a little bit poorly timed on my behalf there, because I didn't realise it was going to run out, and I got hit and lost my Eternal Heart, which is really not good. Um... But it's all in the name of discovery and finding stuff out. So yeah, pretty much all my graphics mods are still here. Uh, I'm still using all of those. I'm still using um, Repentance Boss Champions and um, the Rebalanced Foes and Enemies, things like that. Um, I'll probably do a run-through of all the mods I'm still using. So there, there is still going to be some hitching here and there. And I'm sure the frame rate's not going to be perfect. But it's, it's definitely going to be better, I hope. Um, so yeah, because I, I, I really want to experience Revelations to the fullest that we possibly can. But yeah, I've been, people have been leaving me tips about certain things in the game. For one, on that first episode, I did get a bug where the, um, the curses were sticking around when they shouldn't have been. So thank you for letting me know that that was actually an error. Um, I, I wasn't 100% sure, but yeah, people cor uh, corrected me and told me that it was indeed um, something that shouldn't have been happening, which is really good to know. Um, and also, um, the actual statues, the reason they're used for is to get gain vanity, which I wasn't sure what vanity did, but it's actually used on a special shop at the end of the new floors. So I'm going to try and keep an eye out for that special shop. I haven't seen it yet, but that could be useful. Um, we've got our black arts here. So if you didn't see the first episode of this character, um, good to know. Okay. So you can't leave black hearts on the floor. That is good to know. Um, when you pick up black hearts, they um, they act like normal, but when you get hit, they become those little demons you just saw. Um, and those little demons can hurt you. So definitely a little tricky here. Uh, ooh, got a crawl space here. That's nice. I was going to go over the question of the day, but I've completely forgotten what I was going to say now. Um, decent. What we got over here? We got a, a glass D10. Honestly, glass D10s are, are pretty good now. Because the D10 did get a rework, so... As long as the glass D10s also got updated. But I'm, I'm imagining they, they they did. I'm not 100% sure how they work, so we'll see. Anyways, let's go find out other secret rooms. This is a pretty good first floor. Um, Forever Alone here is pretty nice. Yeah, the main, the main like, hitching and lag that I've seen is in those larger rooms. You kind of get, like, a slight sort of... I don't know how to, how to sort of describe it. It's like a rhythmic... Sort of like, but you, you'll, 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 you'll like rarely notice it. Okay, lots and lots of money here. That This is enough for a shop, actually, which is very nice to see. 
This this could be a very lucrative first floor here. Very lucrative indeed. Um. Yeah. What, what, let's for question of the day. What's a what's a TV series that you're watching at the moment? What's something that you're in the middle of watching? Because I'm I'm looking for new stuff to watch all the time. Um. I think we just buy the black heart and take this. And actually, that's pretty good for the boss, to be honest. So we'll go for that. The fact that the uh, cardboard dude stops um, stops us taking damage is really nice. So we can... I don't know how many hits we can absorb with this guy. I'm imagining it's not a ton. But the damage that this dude outputs is insane. And then we can pop it again to... Um, I didn't know it blew up. <laughs> a pony's pretty good, to be honest. I really like flight, and the, the dash charge is decent, but I think we're just going to say no and take the cardboard thing. Yeah, some bad hits. Bad hits coming my way so far. Whoopsie-daisy I'm, I'm, is all I'm going to say. Um, the, the both being to the cardboard thing. I just keep forgetting that's how that, th that guy works. Um, so th those little patches of ice with the little um, cracks on them are going to fall, yep. So the, these are the things I'm talking about here. So um, we get plus two vanity there. So I'm going to take this one because this one we've had before and didn't seem that bad. So these curses shouldn't stick around now because I think that's been fixed. Now I'm not 100% sure if it's been fixed, but I think it has. But yeah, we get this little dude that follows us around. Um, I'm probably going to go and take out this guy to be honest. There you go. Oh, stupid me. It's fine, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to use my uh, orbital to do some damage here. There you go. I'd like to open... I was just about to say I'd like to open that up, but I can't. But now I can. So I just got a golden key. Ooh, okay. Explosivo is really good. Unfortunately, Mom's Bra isn't. But Explosivo is, is good enough for me to be really happy with getting that. Okay, let's be careful of those turrets because they, they freeze you on impact from what I remember. Ooh, what the hell is this? Oh, is this guy like a little little penguin dude? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, check out the shop as well. I don't mind getting some early deaths and stuff here. We got an item in here, so I think we want to take this first, definitely. I don't know what the drum does. Every two seconds, damage is doubled for half a second. That sounds really good. Oh, we've got this bottle of spray, which I'm not 100% sure what that does. I might, I might grab that. That seems like it could be decent. We've got a tinted rock here. So I don't know, do soul, do soul hearts turn to black hearts? I think they do with this character. So we do have the mirror boss, we want to go fight the mirror boss. I don't yet, but I do need to do more stuff with the mirror boss, because I don't really remember where that leads us to. Like, I don't remember all the stuff that the mirror boss can actually provide us with, and it's, it's like a little secret and stuff that I want to try and, want to try and uh, do. Upon use, uh, upon using a pill, all pills of that type will be turned into full health for the rest of the run. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um... Let's go find our item room. Let's go find our item room first and try and get that eedy little bit of extra money. Um, actually, we can we can go and get the spray bottle now, can't we? I'm just hoping it's not an active, because this sounds really good, and I don't know what this is. In fact, oh wait, I can't I can't take that yet. Okay, let's see if we can get the money for the drummer, um, because I think the drummer sounds like it's going to be better, and it is still a new item, so. Okay. Explosivo is going to be huge for us here. Got these piggy dudes here. Oh lord. Piggies. I love the piggies. <laughs> really cool enemies for this floor. But the enemies' designs on these new floors are just really entertaining. Even this, like, look at this little penguin guy. <laughs> they kind of slide towards you. Do like a little angry thing. I love it. It's so cute. Ooh, look at the uh, the gliss, the um, Aurora Borealis effect there. That's really cool. These these enemies are pain. Right, good to go in here. Oh, <laughs> tear um, tears remove enemy creep, extra fire rate. So we we got this anyways. <laughs> that was strange. Uh, that's really good. Clearing out creep and then getting a fire rate increase. Really nice. That was that was bizarre. I'm really hoping we get the extra money we need to get that other drummer boy item. So, it says remove creep. I'm guessing that blue stuff on the floor doesn't technically count as creep. It's also changed our tear colors into this green color. I, I kind of like that. 
We only need two more coins, so we're not that far away. We're not that far away from getting what we want here. Let's have a little look around, shall we? Ooh, I like that. Hmm. We might be able to get some money from the boss, maybe. Maybe blowing up you? Unfortunate, no. Secret room is the last sort of way to do this, but I don't really see a secret room for us. Ooh, we got one pe we're one penny off. Okay, so I definitely want to use this because I don't really... Oh my god, this sticks explosivo. Also, we've stopped firing right now. Okay, there seems to be some sort of fire rate cap thing here going on. We can't fire constantly here. We gotta remember to get out the get out the way when this ends. I see which one you are. This is scary, but cool. I don't like where I'm st stood right now. I'm stood like way too close to the top of the screen. Okay, I think we got him. That we did. That we did indeed. We got ourselves our angel deal. We do have two black hearts to trade away as well, which is really nice. Uh, in terms of trinkets, we probably want to take the locus of pestilence here. And we will offer to you our black hearts. Um, we got the derelict anchor. Monsters are bound to an anchor which heavily restricts movement when attempting to move outside of the anchor's range. Dragged anchors can break rocks. That sounds really cool. Okay. We get that black heart back. That's nice. I'm I'm really, really, like, going to try and find um, an additional penny from somewhere here. I don't think we have any way of gaining it, I'll be honest. Uh, I guess I could fight this guy and see if we get a penny out of doing this fight. Which is unlikely, but I think it's worth a shot. I love this fight so much. It's so, so, so cool. I think Explosivo is going to make this reasonably okay. Um... I don't have my cardboard suit, so that's definitely going to limit me a little bit. But I found that this guy doesn't actually have a lot of health. There you go, yeah. We did get the shard, but that didn't give us a penny of any sort. Hmm. I think we're a bit stuck, unfortunately. It doesn't look like we... Ah, actually, destroying lock bricks sometimes gives you a penny. Uh, ooh. That, that glitched out the texture a little bit for that. <laughs> um, yeah, some breaking set sometimes gives you something. Duh, duh, duh. Tinted rock anywhere, potentially. Fool's gold rock anywhere, potentially. Can put out these fires, maybe? No. Damn. Really is a shame. Don't have any bombs or anything we can use either for finding secret rooms, so... Uh, I think we're shit out of luck right now, unfortunately. We've got some cool stuff going on in this room regardless. Explosivo is definitely a help. I could go to my cash room, but I'd like to keep my black heart alive, really. Right. Let's just get out of here, shall we? It is a shame, but it is what it is. Right, and uh, I'm gonna keep the D10. I'll try that out. Uh, keep me, keep me with the pestilence going. And we'll go back down to the next glacier. So we do have some vanity already. So that shop should be appearing somewhere on this floor. I was told it was at the end of the floor to look out for it. So, oh, and of course. Of course. Instantly. Oh, God. Oh, God. Instantly I get the penny straight away. Cool to see some uh, glacier forms of the uh, Fiendfolia enemies there. I don't know how many Fiendfolia enemies have glacier forms, but even just a few is pretty cool. We don't have golden keys this time around. What does this do? So there's these anchors that we were talking about here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on here. How do I... How do I kill... I'm, I'm not sure if the if the the, uh, the anchors are, are creating a problem here. What's this stone do? I don't really get what this stone's for. I'm going to have to bomb this, aren't I? The bombing doesn't work. Okay. Um, 
So maybe I've got to push this rock over the flame. Okay, it just it just ended. <laughs> I took too long to figure it out. Okay, yeah, that was what that I was definitely meant to do that. Okay. Basically, I'm supposed to be setting a light the uh, the ice to 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 break it. I didn't break this ice though. Hmm. It's not breaking this ice. Yeah, you see, it's kind of like doing a little. I, I really, I'm, I'm not quite too, too sure how to do this. Also, my glass D10 didn't do anything, sadly. Hmm. So I like this open. It, it makes the blocks flash, but they don't break. I'm not 100% sure how to do this room. Um, I guess we'll just wait for it to open again, because I don't even have a bomb this time. Okay, he, he finally decided to uh, perish. These guys move in very strange ways. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. The way they move kind of scares me. Let's uh, get our cardboard suit on. Oh, we've um, okay. The cardboard suit going between rooms. It did not like that. So there's our shop. So I think we want to go into our angel deal first. I don't think one blackout will be enough. No, it isn't, unfortunately. We go down here. And here's our shop look. So, we've got invisible again. Um, so that item costs two. This costs three. We've only got... Or we can use one for a, a random roll. Let's do a random roll, shall we? This is either nothing or stats. We got nothing. And I, I'm going to go for it again because I've only got two vanity to play around with. And we got range. Eh, Nothing great, but decent enough. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why we've become invisible. Or, um... Quite why, uh... Our cardboard status is, uh... Being revoked sometimes here, but... We'll just play around with it. I like the way it tells you how much you've got left on it in that top left corner there. The way it drains. That's cool. For some reason... Rooms with combat just don't let me use this... At all. Strange. Um, Lily, only use explode to enemies with less than one third their max health remaining. Enemies will glow fluently red when they're able to be detonated. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know, the cardboard thing's really good. It's just not working correctly right now. Like, it works out of combat, but in combat, it's not really doing what it should. Like, now look. That's 25. I'll take another black heart here. Why not? All right, let's pop this. Confused. Color me confused. Anyways, that, that was pretty cool to see the um, the vanity shop there. I wonder what that uh, that icy chest does. We'll have to try, maybe try that out next. Honestly, these anchors are insanely good. Severely limiting enemies' movement while giving us the ability to break rocks is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a look down there, unfortunately. That's nothing too bad. Although I am noticing my my vanity curse hasn't been removed after use after going to that shop, which is what I assumed would happen. So, little confused there, but it's okay. That's our cash room. Keep moving forward here. I mean, anchors on these guys don't really matter, but well, accept them, I guess. Uh, Explosivo doesn't really work on these guys, unfortunately. Good, good, good. Oh, shit. There's enemies back here as well. I didn't realize. I thought there were frozen enemies, but they're enemies that are actually alive. But I keep getting frozen head by my little follower guy. Not too bad. E. And then we got a mini boss in here as well. I can't remember what mini boss this is, actually. Have I fought this guy? Yeah, I fought this guy before. Okay. I think with um, with Explosivo that we've got here, we should be fine. Um, this is not a particularly easy mini boss, from what I remember. Okay, he the Explosivo can attach to this cube that he's pushing around. Nice. Okay, he's dead. And he's respawned.
Oh, I was gonna say, we got him, what's happening? There's one more enemy left here. Okay, nice, we got a burn heart of that. Bomb that open. And we do have our challenge room as well. Spawn three random hearts, why not? We got a morbid heart there, lovely. Let's bomb this. We got the D12. Unfortunately, not really an active that we want to see right now. Not really one we're looking to play around with. Still a good a good uh, active in general, though. Oh, God. Really trying my best not to get hit now, because obviously it'll cause some devastating stuff with my black hearts. You guys don't do too much, do you? Okay, easy. And let's make our way down to the next floor now. Okay, so far, so good. I think that went well. I am lacking a bomb. And I think I need one. So I'm having a slight issue with the Fiend Folio rock glitch. I'm not quite sure what causes that, but I'm sure that'll be cleaned up in, in due time. Um, maybe I need a second bomb here? I'm not sure. Let's go find out, shall we? I do. Let's see if we can get one from the shop first. Otherwise, we're going to have to go to the normal floor and hope we can get back there next floor. Which isn't always the best idea. No bomb, unfortunately. Okay, we're going to have to just say no for this time around and then head back there next time. If we can, that is. I miss floor one of the tomb. Okay, so we've just got to go... Yeah, we've just got to go down this way and then we can head back... Because it's only um, Caves 2, yeah. On ca at the end of Caves 2, if, if we get another bomb, we can then use it. Let's use our cardboard thing again here and try it out. See if we can make it work. Fucking the... Um, anchor on you was terrible for you there. Okay, this is about to end. Make sure we don't get hit by the explosion. I like the way it doesn't drain too much between rooms. It still does a little bit, but not like a ton. And like, if you if you walk into another room, you get a good amount of extra duration on it if you're quick. Okay, there you go. Crack that open. Converse all rocks and poops into pennies. This is probably a good room to use this in. Um, spawn three random coins. Let's just go, do use that in another room real quick. What the hell coin is this? It hurt me. I'm not exactly sure what that did. Queen of Diamonds. Got a good amount of money out of that. We're looking really good. Yeah, I, I, it, it seems to not anchor every single enemy. It's only enemies over above a certain amount of HP, but it's still pretty, pretty darn useful. Oh, thank you. Ooh, adoption papers. Yes, please. I will 100% take adoption papers. With the amount of money we have right now, that could end up being super useful. Yeah, get like a twisted pair in the shop or something like that. Or even some just modded familiars that I haven't seen yet. Even if they're not good familiars, I want to see them. Modded familiars are always some of my favourites. They usually just have so much style to them. Or like they're really cute or whatnot. I just, I like them a lot. Extra bomb there. We've got a very varied uh, amount of health here. We've got one normal red heart, one rotten red heart, one morbid heart, two black hearts, and one black golden heart. <laughs> It's kind of crazy. Honestly, this anchor item is insanely good. It makes it impossible for enemies that chase you down to actually chase you down. And with Explosivo, it's even better because it keeps enemies kind of grouped up. Pop this. This is such a strong item. It's so good. Good, do our boss. No invisibles this time around, which is nice. We did get hit pretty hard there, but we're going to at least kill this guy. Good. All right, let's let this uh, do its thing. We do have a good few black hearts to trade away here. And a morbid heart of safety. A morbid heart in a burn heart. Take all you can, sir. A stigmata there. Um, yes, yeah, stigmata's pretty good. We've got another golden heart. So it seems to be that it costs one black heart and then two black hearts and then three black hearts. So it costs like an increasing amount for each deal. Maybe? Is that how it works? Look at these creepy looking things. Oh, they monstro shot me. Okay. 
I wasn't expecting a monster a shot from you. Pretty, pretty tricky. Pretty tricky. Okay, though, we got you. Right. Find it. We need to find our shop. Our shop's super valuable to us here. Tinted rock there. I really shouldn't have even bothered with that. Ooh, I wonder if we can get back into our angel deal. I don't know if it'll still be open, but maybe we can get an item if we can get back in there. Oh, you bastard. He threw his head at me. That scared the crap out of me then. Honestly, this is a really fun run for Sarah. Really fun run. Having a lot of good a lot of good times here. Oh no! I finally got hit. The more black hearts we have as well, the worse. Yep, the worse it's gonna be for us. Oh my god. It really makes it quite difficult when you get hit like that. We got them all back, of course, but. Right. We got Big Fan, which isn't amazing, but we'll take it. Take another one of those. I'll take that. Okay. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle skadoodle. For anyone that's new to watching, by the way, I don't use my donation machine. I got way, 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 way too um, reliant on my donation machine and filling it up and bombing it that I've just decided to make the game a little harder on myself, make it a little more balanced, in my opinion. I'm just not using my donation machine at all. Uh, so that that's why you'll see that I don't fill it, but also why I don't uh, bomb it either. Just makes it so I actually have to have money for things. And you'll see as well that money's plentiful in this game already, so... Two pills there that I might take. Hey, another familiar here. Good old punching bag. Puberty is fine. And infested is fine. Secret room wise, do we have a, a bead on secret room here? Oh wait, um, we might as well pop this because this will give us a morbid heart refill. I'm very happy about. Secret room could be here. There it is. Rants the Hanged Man, why not check what the other things are? That's another Hanged Man, and another Hanged Man. <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if that was random chance or not, but I'm going to say that it probably wasn't. <laughs> right, so now we have our two bombs. We even have a third here if we need it. So now we should be able to bomb back to... Yes, here we go. Back to this floor. Good, good. And then we can go to the, the Tomb 2. Okay, we have quite a lot of black hearts going on right now. I think we should probably utilize our cardboard box as much as possible here. Especially considering we got the mini boss straight away. A little bit of a hard mini boss, to be honest. He's a bit of a cheeky one. But I think we got him. Just about. Not quite. Okay, we didn't quite get him. And the bombing didn't get him either, sadly. Oh, the Explosivo certainly got him there. Oh my lord, this is a hard fight. It's okay, there we got him. And we got a... Uh, it seems you get a chest or an item from, from the mini-bosses. I thought it was always an item, but I've been proven wrong by that recently here. Okay, we got three more of these. Um, prices have 33% chance. Pickups have 33% chance to disappear. Um, trap tiles will be labelled with a question mark. Um, enemies have a 7% chance. Okay, we'll take the ghost one because that one wasn't too bad last time. Um, and I'm going to take the pickups one as well. Because it's annoying, but I've got I've got more than enough pickups to see me through for this floor. So I don't need them. We're getting some really good items here. Also, has suplex quality been uh, lowered? I'm, I'm still going to stick with the cardboard box because like I said, it's just like a... A sort of weaker version of Mega Mush. It's like a mini, mini Mega Mush. A less Mega Mush. Okay, I don't quite know what you guys do, but it's some sort of herming, so I'm going to try and stay out, stay out your way. Okay, these guys aren't getting explosive so they're pretty tricky. Troll bombs there. And the cardboard thing as well is, is really helping us with not, um, I really love these, uh, these sandcastle walls and stuff. They're really cool. Uh, really helping us with not getting hit on our black hearts, which is obviously a, a very important as, for us as this character. Oh, okay. The ghosts are actually not bad because they're, they're 
aiming for punching bag if he's the closest, which of course makes sense. That's exactly how the item's meant to work. But I kind of didn't expect that. I didn't predict that when I picked it up. So it ended up working out a little better than I thought. Yeah, it's a different version of these guys. Normally we see the homing ones. These guys are uh, poop spewers by the looks of it. Some poopy mouths going on. Right, and I think for the rest of the floor, we can probably make it work with our cardboard soldier, dude. I wonder if we can get into the secret room with our cardboard box on. I bet you can. Okay, I should not have walked into that TNT there. Oh, it, bug it, it broke again. I'm not quite sure what it is that's causing this. Um, but I'll... I, I seem to not be able to take damage when I'm in this mode, though. I, I didn't to the purity ghost then, at least. Maybe the um, thingy mirror just blocked it. I don't know. We'll end the uh, the usage of our cardboard soldier when we can. Uh, ooh, we get Psyfly on the cheap here. We'll definitely take that. And we also get um, Trails Bind Isaac and Explodes on contact with enemies. Respawns after six seconds. Also spawns a singular buffer intestine familiar between yours and Bob's heart to aid preventing accidental self-damage. It sounds risky as fuck, so I'm not going to take it. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that for now. Yeah, let's just end our box thing right now, because it, for some reason, it keeps breaking. I, I say keeps breaking, it's broken twice. But um, I don't want to risk with that. Honestly, Sci-Fly here, huge help as well. Some good stuff going on right now, really good stuff. I'd like to get a bit more money to get the Limescale Rock that was in the shop as well. Oh, these guys can still move quite fast, even with... Oh, uh, I can't actually kill the uh, spiders on the wall here. I didn't realize. These guys can quite still move pretty fast, even with their chains. I love these cactus little dudes here. Needle throwing fellas going on. Or tacks, whatever you want to call them. Pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> some, like I said, just some really cool enemy designs. Honestly... Our little buddy, whatever you want to call him, the little punching bag guy, he's been amazing so far. He's saving me a lot of trouble. Right, let's clear out all the rooms we can first. Like I said, we're looking for a little bit of extra money here and there. We also don't need this hanged man card that I've got anymore. Oh, we did get hit there, so that's a lot of black hearts, but don't worry. They're all coming back. Getting hit's only risky if you get hit really early in a room. I think if you don't get hit early in the room, then it's fine. But yeah, it seems to be the cardboard thing just breaks on these floors. So there might be something to do with that. But I'm going to use it in the boss fights to try and make sure it doesn't bug out. Rather than walking into the boss fight. Also, we got um, a really cool version of this guy. Ooh, this is interesting. This guy's really cool. He's definitely tricky. I think we got him. Yeah, we did. We just need to kill these segments now. And we got some spiders there as well. So we got our angel deal here. So we got a lot of black arts to trade here. Yeah, so you need three for the next angel deal. And then we've only got two there. And that gave me Eternal Heart as well. And it gave me the Trinity Shield. I really like the way this, this Angel Deal thing works. I think that's really, really cool. So right now we have four Vanity Coins, right? Oh no, we still only have two. We have an item here. Is this is this is an item or a trinket? I'm going to take it. Cotton Bud. We don't know what that did. We don't know what Cotton Bud does. Ah, oh, it might have been a good idea to take that, actually. Oh well, oh well. We spent our money. I thought we had... I thought we had taken enough to get multiple deals there, but maybe not. Right, let's go and check out our mirror room again, because we haven't been in there yet. This is the second mirror fight. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay, this is version two of this guy. I'm guessing we've got to destroy these things to, uh... Okay, yeah, these things heal him. That's a really cool telegraph for their attacks. Really cool telegraph. Okay, he's going to open up a chest and get something. I'm not quite sure what. Either way, I'm guessing he can still hit me when he's under the floor here. Oh, what the hell? 
What did I get hit by then? Um, I'm confused. What am I getting hit by? Okay, I might die. Um, um, my little, my little ghosts are getting me. I realize that, but what the hell's the other stuff? Oh my god, they keep hitting me. This is bad. How do I hurt him? I'm very confused at what's hitting me right now. <laughs> okay, Explosivo, carry me home. Also, he keeps healing. Ow! He pushed me into the damn wall. This is a really cool fight, though. I'm, I'm slightly confused by it, but I just don't know his attack patterns, so... Kind of a given. Okay, we did make it out alive. Little bit tricky. Okay, two mirror shards can be thrown. The shards we fire. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We got huge growth as well, which is gonna be pretty good for later on. Intriguing. Okay, let's just go back and get ourselves some uh, some more health. We unfortunately lost all of our saved up black hearts there, which I was not planning for at all. Um, I knew I'd get hit in that fight. I was obviously new to it. I wasn't expecting to get hit quite that much, I'll be honest. Secret room here, potentially? Damn. Okay. Let's get out of here. That was that was worrying. Um, I will go to the cash room, actually, considering I've, I've got flight. Soul of Azazel here is probably pretty what I don't know. Huge growth is probably better, actually. And we can go back and get our... Um, Shop item because we've got enough money now. Right. I think we'll go and grab that. I'll bomb you. So I'm not exactly sure what I do with these mirror pieces now. I have um I have both mirror items, but I, I yeah, I don't know where to apply those. I'll be honest. Going in here doesn't do anything. They seem, they seem to want to be stabbed into something by the looks of it, but I don't exactly know where. I don't know if I need to make my way to Mausoleum or not. I don't think I do, so I'm going to go normal path considering my health right now. And yeah, we'll see. We'll see. It's 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 all new to me. If people can give me some hints without completely spoiling it, I'd be, uh, I'd be happy about that. Okay, Explosivo is going to be pretty good with the uh, setup we've got right now of all the uh, rocks destroying, giving us loads of extra stuff. You know what? Cardboard me. I feel like I need it. Oh, we get flight as this dude as well. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know what's left. This is confusing. Okay, we're out of cardboard now. Yeah, we've got a lot of explosions going on, so we should be able to stay reasonably spidered. <laughs> Not the best way of putting that, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, just because these can give you soul hearts and burn hearts. Beautiful burn hearts, yes. Okay, my health is in a much, much better point now, where I'm a lot, I feel a lot safer. Okay, the, um, the, the fragments do not like being above rocks. These little mirror fragments, whatever you want to call them. They do not like hovering above rocks in any way, shape, or form. We'll get half a heart there, which means we can go in here pretty freely. Regular spiders. Just leave the explosivos to do its thing in there. It'll kill everything. Beautiful. Yeah, this is going pretty pretty well so far. Like I said, I don't exactly know what I'm doing in terms of my mirror stuff. I'll be honest. But that's the least of my concerns right now, I think. My only real concerns is survival. Yeah, Explosivo is just a fantastic item, isn't it? Alright, we'll pop this again. I think for a 6-room charge as well, it's really good. I think even on a 12-room charge, this thing would be, like, pretty well respected. I think people would still really like it.
just considering you can gain additional charge for it by completing rooms. Basically it means if you've got good movement speed and you're just quick enough at moving around the rooms and killing stuff and not getting hit, there's a good chance you're going to get a decent amount out of this. Um, ooh, I would like to save Whip Worm, please. And I realise I lost some um, cardboard time for that, but I think it's okay. It can't, with, the, with the mirrors above our head, it kind of looks like we're a little helicopter. Because well, we've got flight. See what I mean? Like, we've already gained back so much charge. Impressive. Kidney Bean, unfortunately, isn't really the one for us. Especially on roofs like this, where everything's grouped up. Thank you. Good old demon baby. Get a little bit of time on the boss, but not much. Enough to do a good amount of damage, though, by the looks of it here. There you go, we killed her. And then we can end this now. Oh, we unlocked some. Nice. And I guess we'll just take the Polaroid, because we've not done Polaroid or negative yet. And we'll keep moving down. I wonder if there's going to be anything mirror-related later down the line here for us. I'm not 100% sure. Still though, having a lot of fun. The lag issues seem to be a lot better. Stability of the mod seems to be a lot better. So I hope you guys are happy, because I am. <laughs> Get to see this mod in its full glory here, which I'm very happy about. I really wanted to have a good time with this mod, and I really wanted to give a, a very fair and good showcase to you guys. And if that means disabling some other mods for a little while, then I'm okay with that. We unfortunately did just lose a heart there, because I was an idiot. The, having these skulls be tied down is really weird. Having them not be able to move around properly is, is strange. Hearing all the chains break as well, it's kind of crazy. Uh, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll do this, I'll do this. Oh, heck. We get quite a lot of money there, but I don't think money's super useful for us, to be honest. Got these little cyst things here. Oh, god damn, I always forget how these things fire and it. Confusing. Ah, I see the lasers now from the um, from the mirrors. Once we get them down, they uh, they shock between the mirrors. And I, I, when I was reading it, I was kind of like, "Where's the where have these lasers been?" And that's where they've been. Thank you, my scapegoat buddy. Hey, get some health. That was kind of worth it. Right, let's get back in our cardboard robot suit. Even the uh, the lock is even the block is locked down. Sorry. The lock is blocked down, is what I was going to say. Rooms like this are perfect for it, because even though we're going to take some damage doing it, it, makes the room a hell of a lot easier that we can't take damage. Same with this one. Alright, just keep her going. Try and... Oh, we yeah, we glitched out again. New enemy here, by the looks of things. Seems to be enemy, uh, rooms with new stuff. It doesn't like rooms with new stuff. Being folio stuff's fine, but red stuff, it has a it has a hard time when dealing with revelation stuff. It's a really, really cool item though. Eternal heart, that's super if we can keep that, that is super useful. And I have a feeling we should be able to keep it. Just to say, especially if we get to the boss with our cardboard suit still on, which we have. Mr. Fred, of course, he has changed a little bit, so don't get too comfortable. We are about to run out of that suit. Try and push it next to him so explode on him. Didn't quite get the explosion directly on him. I love Mr. Fred's new attacks. Such a fantastic redesign of this boss. Gives him so much more style. And we took him out. We don't have any black hearts to trade away, so that's not going to be great. Uh, tears and range. That's pretty good big range of actually. God damn. Um, so yeah, we're not going to be able to do anything here. But he is going to be able to heal us up, which is nice. Keep our eternal heart going and stuff. Right. Down we go to the next floor. I should really be clearing these floors fully to check if there's anything extra with the mirror room, I guess. But also, these floors are a bit of a pain to fully clear, so... 
That's why I'm not. <laughs> we do. We have really small tier size. I'm not sure what's. I think that was the was the lemon item, the thing that just did that. It's pretty funny. Little baby tears. These guys don't really get affected by the chain, but I didn't really expect them to. Like I said, Ex Explosivo is still our saving grace here. Or the one thing that's keeping us going. Spawn four keys worth of pickups on use. Interesting idea. Okay, I see. I'm guessing that just means that it can spawn a double key. Rather than exactly four keys. Weird way of wording it, I think. But it makes, it makes complete sense when you actually think about it. It just sounds a little weird to start with. Take you out. The feathers are confusing me. All we need to do is latch one explosivo shot and then move on to the next enemy. One explosivo and you move along. Oh, I, I, I walked right into that both times. Do not like this room in any way, shape, or form. Continuously rerolls items in the item room between small selection and till picked up. That seems really cool. Although, I, I don't have any item rooms coming up, so I don't know how that would work. I don't think it would work on these floors, right? Because it did say specifically item room, I think. After, let me go check. I might have just said item. I'm bad at reading. Whoa! Oh, there's a little dude doing all slam attacks. What is this, Bertrand? Right, let me just go read that again. Um, items in the room. Okay, uh, so in theory we could use that if we find an item this floor, but considering this is the mom fight, I don't think we're going to be finding any items. Whoa. Those guys fire drills into each other's faces. That's cool. Right, I think I think once we, as well say, once we confirm we're not on the dead end, which we just confirmed we are on a dead end, we'll use that cardboard hero. I think it'll be this way. Yeah, let's use it now. Blastasis got a health increase on the most recent Isaac update as well, so he's gonna be a little harder now. Only the, the, the large version of Blastasis though, not the smaller versions. Smaller versions are still the same, I think. Oh, what the hell? Oh, bugger. I was like, what the hell happened there? I think I flew directly over a spiked rock multiple times and it um, drastically reduced my duration remaining. Bit of a bummer. Bit of a bummer. But <laughs> honestly completely understandable, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight him on that one. Okay. Oh, falls to you. Okay, again, Explosivo should make this re reasonably easy. We have just lost our burn heart, though. Sci-Fly, you need to step up your game a little bit for me, sir. There you go. Done. Your health is looking a little bit scary right now. Did you get another unlock there? Lovely to see. A little, little bit scary, but one thing to remember, especially for the bosses, we have huge growth in our pocket, so if things look really scary, we can pop that. I'd rather save it for, like, when we really need it, though. Damn you, game. Seven for at least a soul heart one of these, but sadly, we did not get it. This guy's just creating a wall next to me. I like the way the explosivo shots are just so tiny. Normally they're so huge in this game, but... Wasn't expecting to fight two of you. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm probably gonna get hit once or twice here, but we do have health in the room, don't worry about that. I am one at a time. Not a particularly hard boss if you stay at a distance, to be honest. There you go. Didn't go really to plan there. We didn't really gain anything from doing that, apart from some money that's pretty useless, but hey ho. Ooh, that fly there. That's pretty cool. 
Excuse me, sir. Can I hit you, please? Thank you. Okay, we've got a cardboard hero again. Let's just pop that now. We've got the organization or whatever this guy's called. I never remember the name of this boss. Okay, got him. Unfortunately, used up pretty much all of our time here, and the death animation is probably going to screw us. Okay, no, we're good. Probably not going to get this room done, though, in time. No, we're not. We did get one of them killed, though, which is pretty huge. That saves us a lot of time. Quite a lot of dips going around here. Although a lot of them have been turned into my own dips, which is curious. I, I think it was actually just a friendly poop that I destroyed during the mayhem there. Thank you for sitting directly on top of that rock, big sir. Take out you first. Ooh, interesting. This guy's also, what the hell, also protecting these guys. Very, a very themed room there. These guys are a lot more deadly now that they have that ray of light when they die. A lot more unique as well. That's 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 my favorite thing, just when they take stuff that's, that's not very unique and make it unique. Okay, we do have this guy. This guy shouldn't be too bad, but I don't know his attacks very well, so I'm not going to confirm or deny what, how easy this is going to be for me. Um, we can get a soul heart of him, which will end up being a black heart, of course. Or we can end up getting a um, angel item. I'd probably prefer an angel item right now, I'll be honest. There you go, we got him. We got the angel item. Fires blue lasers every 0.3 seconds when standing still. Let's try that out. Maybe it only does it in rooms of combat. Okay, that's that's not too bad. Especially considering they can apply Explosivo. Honestly, the fact that they can apply Explosivo makes that more than worthwhile. And I, I'm guessing it'll work with our Cardboard Suit as well. Which I think is going to be a pretty good combo. We don't have to be standing still for long for it to start triggering. So we can just kind of move around the rooms and then stand still where we want. Like... Oh god. Bad bad place to stand still there. But like here. Yes, I love the fact that it can apply explosivo. That's my favorite. <laughs> That's so good. Honestly, yeah, really like this. Really cool item. We've got a bit of risk to it in having to stand still. Definitely quite a lot of power. Right. Let's go in here, pop this. Then we just stand still, do this, and we should kill you in no time at all, good sir. Very laser heavy. I wonder if this cardboard suit's a reference to anything. The only thing I can think it's a reference to is the South Park episode with Awesome Earth, because that's what it looks like, but I do not think it's a reference to that, actually. It'd be funny if it was, but I don't think it is. Right, we have made it to the next floor. Health is still not great, but we're looking okay. We're looking okay. Um, don't care about that too much. I'll take it even though it's a pain. Dirty Mind's good here. And Montezuma's Revenge is what it is. It's a decent enough. Oh, balls. Oh, no. My demon ghost is screwing me. Oh, no. This room went real bad real fast. That room went south very quickly. I think just standing still in certain rooms is the play. Reduce all shot prices by one. That's kind of cool, but not useful for us on this floor. Oh, God. The issue is moving at speed right now. Champion Gish is moving at speed. He is jumping directly on top of the pit. Was not expecting that either. I like to see health there. Thank you. We've also almost got our um, ability back. Yeah, we can apply so much explosivos with, the la with those lasers. Holy water is a great pickup as well here. Still got huge growth, remember? That's huge for us, quite literally. What has happened here? We 
These guys do not like being frozen in holy water. I, I wonder if this laser thing works with Herming. Because if it did, it'd be nutty if it could hit multiple enemies in one go. Ow. Don't really know what's going on right now. I survived though, so that's all I care about. Hey, yeah, put the star on that dude. I ain't gonna do jack shit to me. Look at the amount of explosivos that's stacked up. That's nuts. I don't know why it can apply so many, but I love the fact that it can. Also, it can fire diagonally too, which is helping. It's very worth just standing still sometimes. I think it scales with our damage too, by the looks of it. Beautiful. Give me that huge growth. Look at the amount of explosivos on that guy. Just, just stand here. Watch the world go by. And everything explode. I don't even know where the enemies I'm fighting are. A champion war in here as well. Come on, dude, get some explosivo shots on you, please. There's a few, there's a few. Okay. Just the, the fact that it auto-aims as well is very, very nice. Ringworm? I don't think so. I mean, I guess I'll take it. Why not? I wonder if it... Yeah, I was going to say, I wonder if it'll affect the laser it does. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Right. Yeah, I like the fact that it, it applies the Kaylee uh, Kaylee effect to my lasers here. Oh my god. The amount of explosivo shots on pin then. Extra black heart there's kind of nice. Although, is it really? <laughs> Might actually be something I regret. Oh my god, the um, explosivo shots curl around as well. Just stand and... <laughs> All will be good. Yeah, I don't know why the explosivo shots are killing because they're stationary, but I'll accept it. Right, check out the secret room real quick. Why not? Ah, not something we need. And here we go. Huge growth plus our box. Yeah, you are very dead, my good sir. Very dead indeed. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that one. A very fun run indeed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.